from the booklet you'll have seen that we can define subroutines. So here I've defined polygon with sides, so I can obviously draw a square with four sides, so I can run a subroutine polygon four, which would draw me a square, or I can do polygon five, which would give me a pentagon. Now that's all very well, um, but I want to use those to do something a little bit more sophisticated. So I've exercise asks you to define this function or subroutine flower. Now flower doesn't need a, a parameter, so I can just use two brackets and a colon. And here it says that for count in range 1 to 37. So I'm going to do this particular set of instructions 36 times. Now notice here this I've indented the code inside that and I've also indented the code for the for loop and I'm going to draw a polygon 10 so a 10 sided polygon a decagon and I'm going to turn 10 degrees to the right each time I've drawn one and that will draw 36 decadons and they'll just uh, be slightly offset each time and that should give us quite a nice flower and now here I can call flower if I run that, I can run the modules. There, as you can see, the flower starts to be drawn. As you can see, that's coming on quite nicely now. And as it goes round, it should start to come up, and you get the sort of centre of the idea of a flower. We'll just stop running that there. You could, of course, parameterize this to say the type of polygon that you wanted. So you could do flower poly and perhaps then the number of polygons that you want to draw inside there and then call it with parameters but that would be for a more advanced task.